Hey, what's going on? So five days ago, I posted this picture on my YouTube and asked y'all if you thought it was real or it was unreal. And I read all 54 comments. And this is pretty crazy. This is how nuts it is. We are at that point where we don't really know what we're looking at anymore. All right. There's some really good arguments in this thread right here. But there's this one guy that got it right off the bat. And it's absolutely correct. This is a scanned unreal. I scanned this uh, photo using my iPhone 12. So what I'm gonna do now is actually tell you how I did this. So first off is I went to Grand Canyon and we were walking around and I saw this rock and I was like, man, that rock looks really freaking good. So what did I do? I took my iPhone 12 mini and I started taking pictures of it around at 360. And funny story is there's a girl actually came up to me and said, hey, what are you, what are you taking a picture of? Did you see the lizard? And I was like, um, no. No, um, I'm just taking a picture of the rock because it was really weird. I was like going around circles. It was so funny. People probably thought I was dumb. But anyways, I scanned the rock with my iPhone 12 mini just going around circles as much as I can taking pictures. And then what I did was actually put the pictures in another software and reconstructed it in Unreal Engine 5. But what I'm going to do now is actually take the same exact photos and use reality capture to try and reconstruct this rock in 3d and we're going to put it in unreal engine 5 so let's do that i have reality capture here like i said i'm going to be doing a lot more of this so i'm going to do a quick start and i'm going to add the folder which i named cry and you're going to see here we're at the 2d view you're going to see the images that i took just really just going around as much as i can you know that's the images we're working with, and I'm going to click continue right here, and we're going to align these images now. Okay, so the reality capture actually created the reconstruction, and that was really super fast. Now, whenever you're photo scanning objects, make sure it's, you know, a cloudy day, so you get some even lighting, not a lot of harsh shadows, and I think it was like, yeah, it was raining that day, so I got pretty lucky as far as lighting goes with this one. So let's go ahead and continue on with the tutorial here. And let's see, navigation, and you're telling me how to navigate or you know how to do that. And we're going to do the align images. I already did that. Continue. Okay, and that's going to tell me how to navigate again. And what we'll do is, ooh, I just moved that, didn't I? Okay, so let me control Z that because the box is actually covering the rock. And it looks like, as far as the ground goes, I'm pretty happy where that's sitting. So I'm not going to send the ground plane like we did earlier. So continue. So the reconstruction region is good. Like I said, the block, the box is already covering the rocks. So that's good. And next thing we're going to do is calculate the model. Now, I'm actually going to do high quality this time around. Now, this might take a lot longer than our original tree trunk, but let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so it looks like the scene is too big. Over 40 million trees. So we are going to have to decrease the quality. All right, so we're going to close this. So right now we're actually not looking at the actual thing because my computer is not able to handle it. 93 million triangles. Holy shnikes. That's a lot. All right. So what we're going to do now is actually um, simplify this a little bit so we can export it because that's 93 million triangles is a bit much to be honest. So we'll do some cleanup here, like we did before, and see if we can kind of get rid of some stuff here. So get the lasso tool. Actually, I like that rock. That's the one in front of it. Yeah, I like that rock. Let's see if I can keep. Uh, let me see if I can keep that rock there. So I'm just gonna subtract this here. I'm gonna filter that. Like I said, majority of stuff is actually going to go under it anyway, so doesn't really matter. Looks like we got rid of almost like a million trees. So what I'll do is, again, just subtract some stuff. Be able to just deselect that. All right. I mean, actually, yeah, it's pretty good. Because like I said, this rock is going to lay on top of the floor again anyway, so... Let's go ahead and unclick the advance. And what I'll do now is I'm going to clean the model. Now that high quality reconstruction actually took like an hour or so, give or take. So it took a lot longer, but we are getting almost 100 million 
triangles. So let's check the topology. See if we have any errors in there. Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of holes in there. All right, so we got two holes, which is actually not that bad. It's probably the bottom one, this biggest one. And everything else looks good. So I'm happy with that result there. Like I said, the hole I'm not really too worried about because, yeah, it's that big one right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this like we did the other one. Let's go to Simplify Tool. And we are going to do, let's do 10 million. I just want to try it. Uh, somebody else wanted to. So let's add two zero. Let's add two zeros. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 10 million. And let's go to absolute. This is absolute. And we're going to simplify this. Okay. So after that, let's go ahead and unwrap this 10 million triangle rock. Click on that here. And oh, what is going on? All right. So I have the texturing right here. Click on the settings as well. It's going to create a two. So it's going to create an 8K texture. I think this actually came from my other setting, which that's that's actually what I want. I'm going to try that out under the texture. I got this is no. Okay, so it actually remembered my last setting. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And... Let's go ahead and unwrap this thing right here. So here's the unwrap settings. I'm going to untwirl it so you can see it again. 2, 8K, uh, maximal is 10. And let's go unwrap. Looks like texture quality is 108%. So again, I'm pretty happy with that. This is good for me. All right. So what we're going to do next is just click texture. And this is going to texture the model for us. All right. So it looks like it's done texturing our model and to be honest again for a freaking cell phone <laughs> this looks really freaking good i mean a cell phone i remember cell phones back then used to be in cars tied into a car couldn't take it anywhere and now two decades later here we are scanning some re real rocks in putting in Unreal Engine 5 and making it CG. That is just so cool. All right, so here's a problem. 10 million triangles, FBX, not going to work. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, I already rendered this in FBX, didn't work. So let's see if OBJ works. And see, and see it's right here, BF4442. Actually, it's this one. BFR 10, that didn't work as an FBX. So BFR OB, let's do that. We will change this to an OBJ file and then export it that way. Since I already paid $1.31 for this, I'm not gonna get charged again. Press okay. And if you know why I'm not able to do it as an FBX, please do let me know, cause I'm really curious. But let's see if we can round trip this from Blender to Unreal. So let's pop up Blender, import that OBJ, BFR OBJ, it's one gig. Oh my gosh. All right, and this is probably gonna take a minute. It looks like it worked. Okay, so I gotta rotate that then. Oh man, that's crazy, it worked. All right, so let's go ahead and rotate this to zero. And here is our rock looking pretty darn good. So the next step, I think I was going to lift it up a little bit. Maybe like one meter. Is that off the ground? That's pretty good. Let's delete the light. And... Let's export this to an FBX now. We go with export BFR to UE5. And we just do the mesh, no animation, check leaf bones. Don't want any crazy stuff. All right. So let's export this. Okay. So let's see the moment of truth here. See if we can take it in Unreal. Oh, man. Let's see if this works. Look how beautiful this rock is. 
All right, let's go to that folder export, and here it is, BF to UE5, 441 megabytes. Porting and export or import. Okay, so it looks like it imported. So let's go ahead and save this just in case it crash. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can um, drag it on the scene. Here's our camera. And this one right here, let me see how many triangles. This is 2.4 million triangles. And um, let's drag this one out. That was weird. Just got really dark. Maybe it's like huge or something. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what the WTF? What the what the what? All right, that was scary, dude. Just start getting dark. All right, so this is our 10 million. Scale this thing here. All right. I'm going to rotate it. Mm, other way. There's our 10 million, and there's a 2 million. Like I said, this uh, first one I didn't um, export from Reality Capture. I used a different software. But I think I am going to start using Reality Capture because it's a little bit faster than the traditional way. So here is, let me press F11 here. Okay, so that is 2 million. And this is 10 million. And what's crazy is an iPhone. You know, freaking iPhone. That's all. An iPhone, a computer, and software, and you got this baby right here. Now, obviously, again, I jacked up because this right here is pretty shadowy. I should have um, increased or decreased the contrast, which I am going to be experimenting with as far as using two separate set of images, one for texture and one for geometry. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Here's pretty, that's up close there, man. That looks so beautiful. But yeah, guys and girls, that's pretty much it. That is how you use your iPhone to photo scan an actual thing in real life and bring it into Unreal Engine 5. Now we have this photorealistic rock in this Maui environment. If you all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.